Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to the channel. Now before we get on with the video I have two apologies to make. The first one is I apologise that the time between the videos has been so long. For this one for instance it's been about a week and a half, maybe two weeks since I've uploaded a video. Second one is that today we will not be using the coal forge. I know a couple of you said that you wanted to see it and I will use it, um, but not today. So. But we've got something interesting. So we're on today, we're going to be using a bit of square stock, and we're going to be making a key ring bottle. Open. Something a bit new, a bit interesting. Um, yeah, for those that have been on Facebook, I've got a Facebook page, Jacob Shafe hyphen blacksmith, that has got some of the pictures and stuff um, of. Still, start with the pictures and stuff of things I make. For instance, uh, net, yeah, net fruit net holder, a keyring butt like that, um, and all that sort of stuff. So if you want to go see that, check that out. Um, yeah. So anyway, today we're going to be making a key, key, key ring bottle opener. Yes, yeah, so I hope you enjoy. Thank you for watching. Right. So. What we're going to do, you might not be able to see it um, so well because of the sunlight, but hey I. Right, so all we're going to do first, we're just going to draw it out. On every side. The reason why we're drawing it out is because, as you can see this part here, a bit thick, that's still hot, a uh, bit thick, so we're just going to draw this end out, so it's a little bit thinner, and then it's actually a um, good thickness for a relatively small bottle open key ring, makes sense. So we're just going to continue drawing this out. Obviously, when it I get down this thing, when it um when we get the metal thin enough, then we shall um, get one end flat out, curl it over to get the key ring sort of shape, and then well, you see the rest of it, it gets more interesting. Right, continue drawing this out. See, we get this tip here, it's flat now. Quick, get the dust in our own, let's fold over. And what I'm trying to do here is I'm trying to get, um, well, as you saw, get the piece of metal, throw it out on one side, and try and keep it the same sort of um, width as the actual piece of metal, so that it all blends in during the end. Right, so just quick 
gây ra So, now what we're going to do is clean up still, because you might take another heat and just get those last finishing touches. Uh, yeah, we'll do that first. So, we're going to heat up again, get the last finishing touches, get it nice and straight, and nice and smooth, get nice and narrow, get nice and flat, all that sort of malarkey. Then we shall get on to the next step. Alright, so after the tidying up, I'm going to get a brush off if I can find the brush. There it is. Ah, give it me. Ah. Not bad. Okay, never mind, I'll heat up again. Keep it there. Right. Now, we can make our last touches. Let's go straight out a little bit. That's nice and warm. There you go. Good. Right, so now what we're going to do is going to heat this up, give it a up. Going to heat it up, and then we're going to get the, where is it? These. I'm just going to bend the tip around into that sort of keyring sort of shape. So I'm going to keep these around here. There we go. Alright, let's get up to the heat now. Put the Right, so, as you grab the edge of it, bring it around. Nice little roll. There you go. And then you end up with that sort of double-laying sort of shape there. You tighten it up a little bit, and that squeeze. There you go. You should hopefully, you shouldn't really see any daylight in that little gap there. Hopefully. Right, so, what we're going to do is just stick it in the place now. I've got a little bit of interesting thing on it. Nice stick the adjustables about there. That's the first one. Me. That's two. And that's three or four. There you go, just straight out through and make sure it's nice and straight, nice and even. There you go. That's it. And now, we've made it look even better. That's a twist on it. Where is it? There you go. That's a twist on it. So you're going to straighten up if it needs it, tidy it up, give it a brush off, and then we shall get onto the actual bottle opener part of it, which is basically the most crucial part of this whole thing. Okay, so I can move that out of the way, just so you can see. Now I'm not going to use any hammers, otherwise it just dented. So I'm just going to whack up the handle. And that should. Nice, straight, there you go, that's nice and straight, nice and twisted, so now what we're going to do is we are going to cut it off with the um, fly press which is in there, the cutting tool, around about here somewhere, if you look at the finger, then we should get on to making the actual bot like the part of the whole thing. Press. Yeah, just gonna cut it where we want it. Move it out of there. That's the push. Get the pies. And just wiggle it off first. There we go. Get it off. There we go. It comes off. Put that in the water. Get the these tongs, which are very helpful. Sorry, you can't really see it because you've aimed at the fire press. Now we're going to stick it in the tongs like that. 
And um, we're going to put this end, where is it, there we go, that end, in the forge, and then make it into the bottle and pot. Alright, so now I'm just going to draw this out. trying to keep the same sort of width as the rest of the piece. And it flows in nicely, looks nice, looks tidy. And I'm going to heat up again and carry on with that. Got to make sure that it's nice and hot all the time, just so it's a bit more, well, obviously a bit more malleable, and so that you don't break the piece. The amount of time that I've made one of those key rings that you've seen in a previous video, and when I was bending around with the pliers, the um, actual key ring bit, um, the amount of times it just snapped off because I hadn't heated it up. So you've always got to remember if you're doing this sort of thing, just remember to heat it up, just so you don't break it, damage it. And it's just obviously a bit more easier to move. Right, anyway, get back to it. Continue to bend this round. Again, I'm just going to get the hammer. Now I'm just going to put a little bit of a lip on it there, a little bit of a belly. straight. Looks nice. Give it a bit of a brush off. Just to straighten it out a little bit. Right now, all I want to see if this is nice and straight. There we go, good. As you can see, it's nice and straight down there. I'm going to try and get the um, head and the, well, the head and the tail um, aligned so that it well, obviously looks nice, otherwise, it won't look nice and it'll just look rubbish. Obviously. Yeah, right now, what we're going to do is we're going to get the wire brush and the pillar drill clean this off, make it look really nice, heat it up, and then drop it into the then we've got to test it, obviously. Why not put a bottle up, because I'm only 14, but we'll just test it, see if it fits. Right, so we've got the wire brush all set up in the pillar drill. Um, so what are we going to do? You might not have seen this in the previous video, you might have might have, um, seen it. Uh, if you haven't, then well, you've seen it now. What we're going to do is we're just going to Turn this on, obviously, then wire brush it off, get all the forge scale and stuff with it, and then it'll hopefully look really nice. And um, we'll see get on to the next thing. So. There you go. So you probably couldn't see most of that because my hand was in the way, but uh, you can see it now. There you go. So it's a little bit. Where is it? There we go. So it's a little bit tidier. Got most of the forge scale off it. Um, it should just make it look nice. So when we've done with the um, inseed oiling. So all we're gonna do is I'm gonna set up my new magical device that is completely improvised and it works much better than you covering the piece by hand with linseed oil. So we shall get to that. 
Right, so just going to get the piece out of the forge. Forge isn't on, but um, cool down a little bit, but it's still very hot. So, there you go, it's nice and hot now. It's smoking a little bit, which is good. Don't want to smoke it too much, otherwise, it just gas me out. So, uh, just going to cover it. This is the sort of magical device that I was talking about was I was finishing the uh, wire brushing. It's not very magical, but it works a lot better than doing it by hand and potentially burning your hand. So, this is a lot better. There you go. It's still dripping, but oh, where is it? There you go. It's still dripping, but looks a lot better. All right, so we're gonna wait for that to cool down, and then we should get on to the slow mo. So probably here is a slow mo now. Ah, tricked you. There isn't a slow mo now. You've got me talking for the minute. So I just wanted to apologise again for the fact that we aren't going to be using the coal. Stay still. Coal force today. Um, but hoping that we will be able to do it next video um, which will be good be a good amount of fun yeah, quite a bit of hard work because you're just going to crank it with your own hand uh, so sitting there watching it heat up so be good fun hopefully a good video um, um, so what, what else was I sorry for? I was sorry for something else what was I sorry for? yes that's the one I'm sorry um that there has been such a big gap between the videos. Didn't really mean there to be, but I just need to get the titanium out of my tuchus and get on with it, really. So, here we are now. <laughs> now we're here. So, yeah, now I shall shut up and now you can see the sun. Right, so before we round off this video, um, what we're going to do is we're just going to check it over, see what problems we have in this. So, the bit here, it's alright, maybe a little, could be a little bit more circular, maybe a little bit more flat, so it fits in a bit nicer. The twist is quite nice, quite like it. The big problem I have is that part. If you can see there, the right side, this side, comes up a little bit more than the left side. Right, the bugging me, so I should have had a look at that whilst um, we were in the forge and fixed that up. Get your nice and straight, there you go, and fixed it up, but we didn't. That's how it is now. Uh, I quite like the little belly on there, that gives you a little bit more leverage when you're putting it down like that. Um, so, yeah, and last thing we've got to do test it. Don't get yourself excited, painted. I'm not going to drink it, I'm just going to test to see if it fits. So, I'm going to put you down. If I can. There you go. Right, so. What we want. There you go. Good. I could just hear a little bit of a hiss. And it's quite nice because if you can see, this tail butt flicks up a little bit. And that's really what you want because you get that more leverage. If it's just flat on the part, on the whole thing, then you won't really get as much leverage. But because there's a point pushing down, it's more likely to just peel off. That, that's good. Um, yeah, I can hear a little bit of hissing. So that's good. We have made a functional bottle opener. That's probably one of the best ones I've made, apart from that little lip part there. So it would have gone a lot higher in the ranks if ah, a lot higher in the ranks if that part was fine. But anyway, it works. It does good. Now we can round off the video. That'll be the end of this video. Thank you so so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Um, quite glad we made a functional bottle opener that looks quite nice that will probably be for your um, might might not be for Senpai Brendan or John Crafty so you might be able to look forward to that um, but might be might not be uh, we'll see so probably won't because of that lip part but anyway 
that should be the end of this video. Thank you so, so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Um, don't get yourself excited to paste it again. I'm not going to drink this Orchard Irish Cider. Maybe. No, I won't. don't worry. <laughs> I won't drink it. Um, I'm going to put it back in the house. So yes, hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Don't know how many times I can say it. That's probably the end of it. Thank you, and bye-bye.